What's up, my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Tim and Eel. So, the ladies of the Real Housewives of Potomac, they didn't come to play, they went at it at BravoCon. So, let's get into it. So, first of all, yes, we go, we talk about the issues that are taking place during the season at that time. I have no problem addressing what's going on in my life. Now, when you say, why didn't I address it before? Well, season seven, that was not something that was going on in my life at that time. It was not relevant to my life. So I did not feel the need to walk in front of a camera. Oh, come on, y'all. Come on. Robin, you wanted Robin to explain? Like to you wanted her to like answer? To She's answering the question. <laughs> I'm answering the question. I don't, I don't, when, when my husband and I dealt with an issue five months prior to filming season seven, why would I walk into season seven holding on to an issue that was no longer relevant to our relationship? It was not a problem, it was not an issue. My husband is not going to be thrown under the bus for a storyline that is not actually an issue at that moment. So I'm not going to. But we'll throw other husbands under the bus for storyline. Every season they will roast the I'm husband. I'm not going to come out of the camera because they get moments. Oh, not to. I'm confused. That's not relevant anymore. I find that interesting. Everything Bray and I do is under a microscope, you know? And even if it's not under a microscope, they throw it under a microscope. And your math isn't really adding up here. Here, right, at the same you time. still will not, well, you still will not admit to all of the things that we have presented to you. You continue to walk in front of cameras and talk about your perfect institution. When we talk about stuff and you act like people are lying and everyone on this stage knows that not one lie has ever been told about your Let's be lies very clear. Lies okay. have been told in rain, so, and so I you so really so need to We are careful. scared. My but husband is not out there signing a seat in hotel. Just a little bit. Let's make a move. Let's make a move. Let me be clear. Let's now, like on that move. note, I am happy that Robin and Juan are on a, in a good place. Let's be clear. But don't bring the bulls. Okay, well, that's good. We'll leave it on that. We'll, we're, we are we happy to share it. We're going to talk about you. Let me talk about the present. Great conversation between Robin and I. We banter back and forth. And the only person on this platform that makes no fucking sense is Robin Dixon. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. We'll leave it on that. We'll, we're, we are happy to share it. We'll leave it on that. that too. The whole situation to me is a mess. But I will preface this by saying I root for families, especially since they have children. I want the best for them, so I'm rooting for her marriage. But Robin is delusional. Okay? And I will leave it there. And we address her delusion throughout this season, and we hold her accountable. But, you know, you can take a horse to the water, but you can't make him drink. Okay? <laughs> Your friendship, your friends before this, you've been able, unlike some people on the stage, to maintain that friendship. Um, you've been friends for a very long time. Some people might even say that you're loyal to each other to a fault. I'm wondering in, in these seasons as you watch back, has there been one time where you can cop to one fight from the show, where you took your bestie side, but then later you were like, mm, maybe she was actually wrong? That's your answer, because I'm normally doing something wrong. So. <laughs> When I, when I think you're wrong, I tell you um, on the show, whether it's shown or not, <laughs> that's, that's another story. Um, but no, I don't. I can't think of, nothing sticks out to me where it's like, oh, I'm supposed to tell Giselle how horrible she is, or how wrong she was. No, we wouldn't have yeah. yeah. But I mean, there are, there are, there are blaring. Growing a glass 
like we put it on television and for whatever reason when it happened on our show, it was like World War Three. So that's it's my opinion. It's World War Three when the glass was thrown and then you say the person who got the last throw on them is the antagonist. That's yeah. why. are very curious about is your relationship with Ashley. I want to bring Ashley in here. What percentage of the time would you say that each of you are now friends versus frenemies? I'll start there. As of today or during filming? You know, Good question. that's a great question, we gotta Ashley. Distinguish. I'll take both. Um, okay, you want me to go first? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um, I think right now we stand at like a I would say like a 70% like. Good. 70% like. Which way? Like. Like. Alike. Like. 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 like friends. Yes. Yes. Okay. Like we, we didn't speak in the airport when we came here. We were literally on the same plane. Yes. And neither and one of she, us she spoke had to, like, to each she other. She didn't know who I was. Okay. And I said, oh, we're Candace not speaking. Candace walked into the airport we're not with speaking. her shades on and literally like went right around me, okay? Did a whole I didn't maneuver see you. around that I didn't sound see like you seven in the terminal. It's okay. It's okay. But then, but then we, we fixed it yesterday. We did. Okay. And we, we did. figured it out. Yeah. I think I've been saying all week that Ashley and I, our love language is arguing. <laughs> and, you know, she's a great sparring partner and, and I, I, I love to spar with her. She's a very smart woman, a very intelligent woman. So we work it out. And you, there's an ebb and a flow. I think you, I don't know, we started out okay. We went to hell. And then I think we come back to, to you know, earth. Yeah. At some point. We really do ebb and flow, girl. We are like, we're the, the ocean, okay? Yeah, yes. We are the motion are the of the ocean. ocean. Yes. yes. And that what works. was the percentage during the season? Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, 100%. It wasn't Karen, it wasn't bad. A hundred percent, for sure. Thirty percent? No, you guys argued the whole time. Did we argue the whole yeah, time? Yeah, the whole time. I we say, did? I say like uh, uh, thirty percent, like. Thirty percent. When you said thirty, like, like, is that like, accurate? Right. So seventy percent. Did I block not. it out? We argued the whole time. Yes. No, not the whole time. Anybody who is upset or is anything other than kicking at my tagline is whack. You need a hug, you need prayer, you need to get the stick out of your ass because that shit is funny. <laughs> uh, Candace pulled uh, Candy Burris. Y'all remember that season where her tagline she sang in between saying her tagline? Well, Candace did something similar and people are like, okay, girl, why did you do that? And she's simply just saying, look, it was all for fun. Uh, they said every accountability that Robin did not take last season, spending time in other people's business when she had a storyline, but was keeping it a secret. We are going to drag her this season. Child. Robin took a lot of hits at BravoCon, but this is what happens when your spouse decides to continuously disrespect you and your family and now you have to defend your marriage especially if you are someone who sits on other platforms and the show talking about other people marriages then of course they are not going to show you grace in yours especially if currently it's been alleged that robin and giselle are behind the new rumors about candace and her husband situation they have denied it, but they have a podcast together and they talked about hot topics. So, of course, they did talk about that situation and said that they know they do believe that there's some truth to it. So if you're talking about other people, marriages and possible infidelities and all of that, then 
they're going to also come for you as well. But I do wish and hope that her husband will do right by her and stop putting her in these situations where now she has to sit through booze and embarrassment and defend her marriage and defend herself all due to his mess. Anyways, I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Do not forget to click those links in the description below to support your girl. My boutique website link is in there. Click the link, purchase some pieces. Also, the event planning company link is in there. And also the link to subscribe to my YouTube members only. Take care. I love, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.